Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ted Paquin Jr. This is my father, Ted Paquin Sr. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on the use of the conversion sleeve. This is an invention that he patented, and he's going to tell you all about it. And it's a pretty neat uh, item. So go ahead, Dad, take it away. What we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate an amazing way in which you can convert mm -hmm. from an impact type sprinkler to a gear driven sprinkler without digging up the ground without doing any plumbing and we can do it in a real short period of time. Now before you go on any further, why would you want to replace the impact sprinkler with the gear driven? What's the what's the advantage? The advantage simply is this. With all these moving parts, as you can see there's springs and gears and many, many moving parts that can okay. clog up with dirt, grease and grime and thus render this inefficient. So I'm gonna convert that to this okay. gear driven unit. Okay, and so the, yeah, these are the newer ones and these are a lot quieter too, yeah? They're quieter, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and like when these things come down, I've seen these, you've all seen these where they pop up out of the ground and you see how they come down, that eliminates all the dirt from getting inside of it, right? right? And so all of the moving parts are sealed. So they're quieter and, and they're cleaner. They're quieter, that's why cleaner, and this is the newer generation sprinkler system that the universe has adopted. Cool, all right, show us how you replace it. Now. I'm going to demonstrate how you can do this <clears throat> in a short period of time. This right here is a sprinkler system, a traditional impact sprinkler system. When this becomes defective, you have to buy this entire unit to replace just this. So, in order to solve that problem, take this lifting tool, which is necessary for most sprinklers, and you lift it up like this, and you get it locked on that wrench at the bottom. As you turn it, you take it out, you can now eliminate the tool and the head for good. You can take my sleeve and screw it into there very simply. Mm -hmm. Then you take a gear driven unit, screw it into there, and tighten this down. Now you've changed the entire complexity of your sprinkler system. The neat part about this is if you have an issue with the gear driven, all you do is simply take it out, replace it with this, and put it back in. Also, if you have to drain the lines, you simply stick your hose in here or your blower, whichever form you use, mm -hmm. and it's a simple process. So you can swap these out without any tools? No tools necessary. Okay, cool. You can get rid of the lifting tool forever. Okay, so now I also noticed that when you swapped out the impulse with that, you used the same uh, housing. The housing never left the ground. It stayed in there. Okay. So So what advantage would that have then? Well the advantage is that none of these filters or housings like this land in the landfill. Wait, wait, so when you're saying when you have to buy the impulse, you have to buy the housing and the whole unit all together. You can't just buy You cannot just, that. just buy the unit. Okay. So then Therefore, those just add up and you end up having yeah, and more. Being a non biodegradable, it's not good for the environment. Okay. So now that I have this done voila change done. the system okay and so let's just say with the the production of all of this and you replace all of the gear or all of the impulse driven units with gear driven units then what i'm going to smile a lot okay <laughs> <laughs> Because how many of these are in the ground there are day? millions and millions of these in the ground that i would like to replace with my sleeve however once they're filled, I can use my sleeve as the housing for a gear driven unit. And I can put this because of the threads in the bottom, I can use this as a direct burial application. So now you can use it for not only replacing the old system, converting the old system to a new system, but now you can use that for all new systems. Exactly. Uh, future new systems going in new construction as well. Exactly. And based on the fact that there are 1.6 million building permits just this year, I'd like to get a piece of the action with this. <laughs> okay. And so what kind of uh, interest have you had with um, uh, production and feedback and all of that? So far, at this point in time, I've got domestic companies looking at it okay. and wondering if this would be suitable for their uh, particular sprinkler system. I have a lot of interest in offshore companies, the Chinese and the Canadians 
would like seriously to do some work on this with me. However, I want to keep this a domestic project. And so at this point in time, I'm waiting for domestic Young, companies yeah. to take a, an interest in Made it. in America. Made in America. So not only are you keeping this domestic being made in America, but you're also saving the environment because we're eliminating a lot of uh, waste with non-biodegradable plastic, saving landfills, uh, all that kind of stuff, then, right? So it's good it, on the environment and our local economy. Exactly. I have a box full of these. Mm -hmm from my systems for over the years. Mm -hmm. My neighbor has a box mm -hmm. full of them from his system, and his neighbor has a box full of them. Eventually, they're gonna get in the landfill, mm -hmm. you know, because our, our region does not do the recycling okay. like other areas do. And then, and then just one other thing too, this is something that would be very appealing to professionals who install and repair sprinkler systems, but this also makes it available for the do-it-yourself. This can be done by a child. Okay. Since no tools are necessary, you simply unscrew and take it out, unscrew the sleeve, screw the sleeve back in, a child can do this. So for your average person that's going to do his own work, this is the answer to all of your questions if you want to convert from the older generation to a newer generation you're driven with. Cool. All right. So, well, there you have it. There you go. Is, my, my name is Ted Parker. I'm the inventor. My email address is tedparker at icloud.com. Thank you for watching this video.